Hello, welcome to all. I am Vibhuti CP. Here we are going to learn the CHO 150 course of MSc first year. Our today's topic is oxidation. In that we learn the oxidizing reagent that is DDQ. Okay. What is DDQ? DDQ is a 2,3-dichloro 5,6-dicyno-benzoquinone compound. Okay, remember that structure always asked in the MCQ. Uh, what is the uh, structure of the DDQ or long form of the DDQ? It is a 2,3-dichloro 5,6-dicyno-benzoquinone. Let me learn the physical property. These are light yellowish in color. They are mostly soluble in an organic solvent like the ether or dioxane compound or the methanol and the ethanol compound. But widely used solvents are the aromatic hydrocarbons. Okay. Here why this is the widely used solvent because these are non-toxic, non-poisonous, cheaper reagents and also easy to handle. Next here, let me learn the mechanism of the DDQ. What happened? What is the function of the DDQ? DDQ is the electron deficient compound which abstract the hydrogen. Here you can see here which can be abstract the hydrogen of a CH of what? The allylic compound or the benzylic compound. You can see here this is the DDQ which abstract here this lone pair of the uh, this which have abstract the proton whenever this abstract the proton over here this bond is shifted to here and likewise here this bond this double bond is shifted to here and this oxygen which accept the electron and which becomes the negatively charged okay and here there is a formation of the OH and this oxygen becomes negatively charged then this negatively charged oxygen which abstract the proton of the allylic CH compound and this electron is shifted to here and there is a formation of this type of the double bond. That means what here for the double bond one equivalent of DDQ is consumed. That means it required the 1 as to 1 ratio. Okay. Let me see the applications here which is mostly useful for the dehydrogenation process and also dehydrogenative cyclization process and insertion of the oxygen and some miscellaneous reactions. Let me see some examples in that what is the function of this uh, uh, DDQ, DDQ and the best used solvent is what? The aromatic hydrocarbon that is C6H6 compound. Here which abstract the proton and uh, this uh, get converted to the double bond. Here there is a formation of the two double bond. That means here we require the two moles of the DDQ. Okay. Here also there is a 2CH3 group. It get converted to this type of the double bond. Here also here what happened which on the reduction or uh, sorry which on the oxidation in presence of the DDQ it get converted to the double bond like this manner. Okay. Here also in this case there is a removal of the water molecule then the first double bond is here formed and in the second case this by the abstraction of the, this proton here this double bond will be formed. That means in this case we require only one DD cube. Okay. Next example let me see here this is the like this compound dibenzene which is attached to this type of the CH2 CH2 compound okay then which is reaction with the DDQ in presence of benzene here this single bond get converted to the this type of the so it get converted to the this type of the double bond okay here this is the CH2 compound like this which is reaction with the DDQ <coughs> it get converted to CH CH double bond okay Next is what <coughs> if here there is no hydrogen abstraction okay from the double bond because all here there is a double bond is there and that's why here there is a no any hydrogen is uh, required for the abstraction of the uh, double bond okay that's why here what happened here there is a CH3 group is there the CH2 in presence of DDQ it get 
convert it to here the ch double bond ch is same then the ch3 get converted to the c double bond o h that means it get converted to the aldehyde compound let me see the mechanism of that the ddq what is the function of that which abstract the proton like this manner and here the ch3 becomes the positively charge okay then the next um, step oxygen of the ddq which abstract this proton and what happened uh, here this becomes the negatively charge over here and whenever this abstract here this hydrogen get removed here this hydrogen is abstracted by the ddq and here this bond is shifted to here okay sorry this sorry not here this bond is shifted to here there is a formation of the carbon oxygen double bond and this oxygen which uh, break this bond and here this ddq get removed and here we get cho that is ch3 get converted to the cho here there is a ch2 ch3 is there it get converted to the ch double bond ch2 this is also the another examples for the ddq okay here you can see here this um, water molecule which is reacted with this uh, hydrogen sorry this alkene compound and here we get this uh, there is a, a what abstraction of this proton is expressed over here then this bond is shifted to here and this bond is shifted to here and here a hydrogen get removed and there is a formation of the ether type of the compound like this manner all this reaction which can happen next oxidizing reagent that is what seo2 okay let me see the seo2 as the oxidizing reagents what is seo2 seo2 is called as a selenium dioxide compound okay here what is the structure of that this is the structure of the selenium dioxide oxygen double bond se double bond o okay then here let me see their properties this is a white crystalline compound this have the little toxic and uh, which can be purified by the sublimation process let me see the preparation here the selenium which on oxidation get converted to the selenium dioxide this is purely inorganic compound which the solvent used for the selenium dioxide that is the organic hydrocarbon compound like benzene toluene sorry toluene and the xylene compound halobenzene compound chlorobenzene compound etc here um, another solvent also used that is the ether in ether we can use et2o diethyl ether thf or dioxin and if we use the alcohol that time uh, ethanol and tertiary butane mostly used instead of that we can use water also as a solvent next the application of the co2 the first application that is here oxidation of the active ch function active ch where we got the active ch first the oxidation of the alpha position of the withdrawing group alpha position of the withdrawing group this alpha position it get converted to the carbonyl compound in presence of the seo2 which are the withdrawing group all the carbonyl compounds are the withdrawing group that is aldehyde ketone acid ester all these are the withdrawing group whenever this withdrawing group is there uh, near to that carbon this is called as alpha carbon and this alpha carbon which is reacted with the co2 get converted to the carbonyl okay the oxidation of the benzylic position into the carbonyl that means what uh, first whenever the withdrawing group is there their alpha position get converted to the carbonyl if the benzylic position is there that means what the aromatic compound is attached to the ch2 type of the alkyl that is the benzylic position this is called as a benzylic position this also get converted to the carbonyl next is allylic position allylic means what the carbon carbon double bond near to that carbon that is this the star carbon that is called as allylic carbon whenever allylic carbon is there that time it either get converted to the alcohol or the carbonyl 
next application that is um, oxidation of the alpha position into the carbonyl that is let me see the examples here this is aldehyde compound carbonyl and here this carbon near to that that is called as alpha carbon this alpha carbon which is reacted with this SeO2 get converted to a carbonyl and there is a formation of the glyoxide next is here this is the acetone is there this is the symmetric compound there are the two alpha positions uh, or uh, active CH is there here you can convert any of them that is here we convert this CH3 into the carbonyl that is called there is a formation of methyl dioxide here also the same here this is the carbonyl and here this is the alpha position CH3 compound that's why it get converted to the carbonyl okay here there are the two say, alpha position is there like this is one alpha position this is another two different types of the alpha position but this ch2 is more active and that's why here it get converted to the carbonyl okay let me see the mechanism how this happen in k okay, in this case what happened this is the carbonyl and this is the active carbon is there okay what happened uh, first of all with the re reaction with the h plus here this is the lone pair of oxygen which abstract this proton and then what happened this oxygen becomes positive charge and that's why here this double bond is shifted to here and there is a formation of the OH and double bond carbon this double bonded which shift their electron to the selenium oxide and here the selenium oxide here shift their electron towards the oxygen this oxygen becomes all negatively charged and that's why here uh, this negatively charged oxygen which abstract this proton and there is a formation of like this this is OH and here this selenium which is attached to this carbon okay the next step there is a removal of water molecule how it uh, remove the water this hydrogen from this carbon we shift their electron to the formation of the carbon selenium double bond at the same time this OH get removed okay and here there is a removal of water molecule we get like this product okay next is what happened this uh, water molecule which has a lone pair which donates electron to this carbon and then what happened at this position this double bond of the selenium is break and all these electron accepted by this selenium okay and here this there is a formation of the OH over here and the remaining uh, hydrogen which is attached to the selenium okay in the next step what happened there is a OH bond they ship their bond to this carbon and there is a formation of the carbon oxygen double bond at the same time the carbon selenium bond is going to break and all these electron is accepted by this selenium and there is a remover of H2CO and here we get C carbon double bond O that is glyoxan compound this is the mechanism of the conversion of the ketone uh, into the glyoxan okay that means this active CH get converted to the CO okay here this active CH get converted to the CO this is the mechanism let me see the another examples here this is the uh, carbonyl there are the two alpha position that is two benzylic uh, ca carbon is there here this is the symmetric and that's why you can convert any CH into the carbonyl okay next like this also here we get this type of the product okay all are the symmetric here this trans compound is very unreactive unstable that's why what happened there is no reaction which can be happen over here okay next is here this is the if but we use the cis compound then there is a formation of this type of the glyoxal happen okay next is what here you can see here this is the active ch and that's why here this ch get converted to this type of the carbonyl okay here uh, you can see all this uh, compound this active ch get converted to the co next is what here the oxidation of benzylic position into the carbonyl that means here this is the benzylic ch3 compound which is reaction with the CO2 get converted to the CHO here this is also the active uh, carbon is there it get converted to the 
carbonyl okay next is what the seeds this is compound like this okay sorry sorry Here we use the pen. What happened? Here there are the two CHs there. Like this. Okay. This is one carbon and this is another carbon. If we use the DDQ, then what happened? This single bonded carbon get converted to what? The double bonded carbon. But whenever we use the SCO2, that time this two carbon which becomes the two carbon in compound. Like this. C double bond O, C double bond O. This is the examples okay here this is an, these are the another example of sco2 here this ch3 this is the benzylic uh, carbon is there and it get converted to the carbon that is ch3 get converted to cho okay here also this ch3 get converted to cho benzylic compound okay this is also the benzylic ch3 this if this benzylic ch3 is there that time this benzylic ch3 uh, sorry there are the two benzylic ch3 is there this is one and this is another uh, okay but here this benzylic ch3 get converted to c double bond o or cho okay here this ch3 get converted to the cho like this next is what the oxidation of the allylic position into the alcohol here you can see let me see here this is the allylic position okay this is the allylic uh, carbon this is also the allylic carbon but it has some reactivity okay this allylic position get converted to what alcohol but what the more than one allylic carbon is there that time what happened here uh, this is depend on the reactivity more reactive is the secondary carbon then primary carbon and then tertiary carbon here this is the tertiary carbon is more reactive that's why here this tertiary sorry secondary carbon is more reactive that's why here the secondary carbon get converted to the secondary alcohol okay if first and second rule are uh, are uh, of the compound into the competition the first rule should be preferred okay here this is also uh, they get converted to the this type of the alcohol okay if here the e and z compound is there that time here it preferred here if e and z alcohol then what happened alkene is there that time it always prefer what e type of the alcohol you can see here this is the e type of e means trans trans alkene is there and that's why here at the trans position alcohol will be attached that means we get the e type of the alcohol this is all about what the se O2. Okay, thank you very much for watching this lecture. Here we are at this uh, position. We completed all our syllabus, all oxidizing and reducing reagents. Uh, then we stop over here. We completed our syllabus. If you have any doubt, you can ask me uh, by messaging on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much for watching this lecture. Okay. Then here